Okay, so if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're going to need to know this right here. And what are we talking about? We're talking about the topic of factoring, okay? And I'm telling you, all you algebra students are going to need to know this. Uh, so whether you're taking Algebra 1, Algebra 2, College Algebra, maybe with the exception of Pre-Algebra, you're absolutely going to need to know this. Now, if you know what this is, go ahead and put that into the comment section. This formula here actually has a name to it. Put that into the comment section if you know what I'm going to be talking about. But uh, if you don't know, stick around for a couple minutes because this is absolutely critical knowledge for your uh, success in Algebra. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in mathematics. So if you're struggling in math, you can be successful, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to work hard. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is you need great math instruction and clear and understandable so that's where i can help you out if you're at the middle school high school or even college level and you need assistance in mathematics i'm going to leave links to all my uh math help in the description of this video and uh, by the way if you happen to be preparing for a test like the ged sat maybe a teacher certification exam anything with a math section on it i can help you out if you are a homeschooler i can help you out and if this information helps you out well don't forget to like and subscribe all right, so let's get into this formula here, and the name of this happens to be called the difference of two squares. So if you knew that, that's excellent. But let's go ahead and see what we um, uh, need to know about the difference of two squares. So this is what we call a special factoring rule, okay? And there's going to be situations in algebra where you won't be able to factor out the greatest common factor. So for example, if I had 2x plus... Uh, 10, I could factor a 2 out here. That's 2 times x plus 5. So I uh, factored out the greatest common factor. No big deal. And if you're working with trinomials like this, x squared minus x, uh, let's say minus 3, this may or may not be able to be factable. Uh, so you need to know how to factor trinomials. You need to know how to factor out the greatest common factor. But sometimes you face situations that are not trinomials or not something like this. There's something like this, okay, like an x squared minus 4. So the question is, well, can I factor that? Well, on the surface, you know, you, you might look at that. Well, you know, there's no GCF. There's no, uh, uh, this is not a trinomial. So no, you know, maybe I can't do anything with this. Well, no, you absolutely can factor this, but it requires, again, your understanding of the difference of two squares. So here's what you need to know. A squared, okay, that's one squared minus B squared, right? So when you subtract two things, we call that a difference. And we're subtracting squares and specifically two squares. So that's where the name comes from. So A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B. You need to have this in your notes if it's not already there right now. All right, so let's uh, take a look at how this works. So if we want to factor something like uh, x squared minus 4, what we need to do is recognize that this right here is something squared, like our a squared, and then 4, we need to think of this as something else being squared. So what is? Uh, how can we express 4 as something being squared? Well, we can write this problem, or think of it this way, x squared minus 2 squared, okay? So... When we have uh, x squared minus 4, and we write it as x squared minus 2 squared, well, this x becomes like our a, and this 2 right here becomes like our b. And now we simply just go ahead and follow the pattern a plus b. In this case, it would be x uh, uh, plus 2, okay, times uh, a minus b, which, would, of course, would be x minus 2, all right? So x squared minus 4 we can factor this as x plus 2 times x minus 2. And you're going to see uh, the difference of two squares come up pretty frequently in algebra. Okay, So if this makes sense, well, let's go ahead and continue to practice this, practice this more so you can really you know, uh, get this down. And uh, I'm going to do a couple more practice problems here. But beyond this, you're really, really going to want to continue to uh, practice. Not only the difference of two squares, there's other special factoring rules. So a couple suggestions before we get going. I have additional videos on my YouTube channel, but you might want to check out one of my um, courses like Algebra 1, Algebra 2, whatever the case might be, whatever you might be in. All right, so let's take a look at um, 
y squared minus 25. So the first thing is to, uh, if we want to factor this, is to recognize that this, uh, this is the difference of two things, okay? So in other words, we're subtracting. We got a square here. Now, it's not obvious that 25 is a square, but, you know, being a great math student, you're like, wait, isn't that 5 squared? Yes, yeah, so you want to think of y squared minus 25 is y squared minus 5 squared. And now it's simply just going ahead and applying this formula. So it's going to be y. This is going to be, again, like our a. This is like our b. And we just follow the pattern. So this would be y plus 5 times y minus 5. And once you do this a lot, this will be pretty easy. So let's go back to the original problem. You say, okay, y squared minus 25. Oh, difference of two squares. So you're like y plus 5 because you're thinking about the square root here, okay? Not y squared, it's y, and not 25, it's 5, okay? So it's going to be y plus 5 times y minus 5, and there you go. This is the factor of, uh, these are the factors of y squared minus 25. Okay, so if you feel comfortable with this, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a, uh, another example, and then we'll call this a wrap. So I don't want to fry your brain too much here, but uh, if you're understanding this, then that's excellent. Okay, so the first thing uh, when you're thinking about factoring here is you always want to see if you can factor out a, a greatest common factor. Well, 49 is 7 times 7, and this is 4, so we can't factor anything out. So if you can factor something out, let me give you an example. Let's say you had 4x squared minus uh, 16, okay? So here, you could factor out a 4, so that could be x squared minus 4, and that's how you would want to do that problem. You always want to get in the habit of factoring out any greatest common factors, but in this situation, you can't factor anything out. So you're looking at this, and you're saying, well, I'd like to factor this. Can I do this? Well, you need to recognize this is something squared minus something else squared, okay? So how do I know uh, what has been squared here? We have 4x squared. Well, you want to take the square root of 4x squared, okay, and that is 2x, okay? And if you're not quite sure, take that 2x and square it. So 2x squared is the same thing as 2x times 2x, which gets, which gets you back to 4x squared, okay? So if you're not sure, take the time to really be convinced that you um, understand what the square root of this is. So 4x squared, I can write this as 2x squared, and then uh, 49, just take the square root of that, and here, of course, we're dealing with a nice uh, perfect square, so this is the same thing as 7 squared, okay? All right, so at this point, it becomes easy. We're just going to go ahead and follow the pattern. So what is my a here? What is being squared? That's 2x. So I have to write a 2x plus 7, okay? So again, my a here is 2x and my b is 7. So that's going to be 2x plus 7 times 2x minus 7. And there you go. These are the factors, 2x plus 7 times uh, 2x minus 7. And these are the factors of 4x squared minus 49. Okay. So you need to be an expert at factoring in algebra. It is probably one of the, the number one well, there's so many uh, important skills that you need to know, but I'm just telling you right now, if you can't uh, factor in algebra, you won't be able to do the majority of problems in algebra, okay? It's a critical skill, and a part of factoring is knowing how to work with these special fa uh, factoring formulas, uh, like the difference of two squares. There's other ones as well, but we'll just take you know, um, things one skill at a time. That's how you learn math. Don't try to learn it all in one shot. And you're going to want to follow through, okay, with uh, practicing uh, doing uh, the, dif uh, the difference of two squares. So there's a lot of other type of challenger problems. Uh, so don't mistake in you watching this and saying, okay, I get this. I learned it because I watched uh, uh, this guy do these problems, all right? That's not enough. You have to do the problems. The only way you're going to retain uh, this knowledge is for you to actually practice. So follow through, do the right thing. But if this video helped you out, please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I just want to tell you real quick, I have about a thousand plus math videos on my channel from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.